that terrible weather, I guess what I'm going to talk about is just like the, uh, is as bad as the weather here. Okay, it's Monday, I've been busy, I went to City Hall, I asked for a copy of the Bernard Richard report because uh, Mike O'Brien is going to bring me to court, our two phony, you know what, mayor, racist, Homelessness, homelessness. And then once he's mayor, we he never talk about it. We need Woodside back. Anyway, never talk. I'll see the day that I would that I would say that. Uh, I asked for a copy of the Bernard Richard report because it's no longer online. They fix all their website. We ramp all their website. Okay, never mind that. I'm gonna get that this week. Get ready for the lawsuit. So uh, I'm not gonna con I'm not gonna I don't I don't wanna condemn the Irving media, which I'm not. But I got I got some point of concern. I'm not going to name the journalist. Uh, I put a complaint when the police arrested me or gave me a summons to appear in court, charged me, Miramichi police by orders of the Philippine Police Force. Uh, this false charge of assault against the idiotic so-called poet Andrew Spencer. I immediately put a complaint to the New Brunswick Police Commission. The Police Commission sent me an email and told me, or a, a letter, that they cannot investigate my complaint because the issue, the manner, is in front of the court. That makes sense. I mean, if I'm found guilty, uh, why would they investigate a cop that did his job? So, after it was all done, of course I had a f uh, help from a friend, put some motions in, we had some hearings, because summary, you're not allowed to have a lawyer, legal aid will not give you a funded lawyer, and there's no preliminary hearing to find out there's enough evidence to proceed to trial. They go straight to trial, 99% of the time, they force you, especially a person with a mental illness, or poverty, they can't afford a lawyer, they have no lawyer, they plead guilty. So me, after a year and a half, almost two years, I was found not guilty after a trial. A trial that should have never seen the light of day in the courtroom. Immediately when I was found not guilty, I put a complaint to the New Brunswick Police Commission the police commission, New Brunswick Police Commission, sent me a letter and told me because of time limitation, we cannot investigate your complaint. It's been over, there's a one year limitation. So, they could, uh, they could accuse, they could do anything, falsely accuse people and bad cops going after you and if you fight back, if you have smart supporters, you fight back, the cops cannot be investigated for labeling you as a pedophile or bringing you to court for false charge. So, this morning I, I went to the uh, police commission with my camera, go to Google, write my name, LeBlanc Charles, and you'll see Charles online, you'll see the video that I made when I walk inside the New Brunswick Police Commission. I went over the, uh, they told me you need a judicial review. Put in for a judicial review because you don't agree with what the police commission is, is telling you. So I went there, don't like going to justice though. They had no choice, met the clerk, and uh, I won't mention her name. And uh, they were nice, polite. Then they gave me these forms, and you have to file up this, and after David, blah, blah, blah. So I told her, I said, I'm non educated, I have a mental illness, and I'm on social assistance. Oh, no problem. They turned around and told me, oh, there's a fee of $75. I said, well, I'm on welfare, I can't afford $75. Well, that's too bad. So they told me to go to, they didn't say it like that, but you know. That's the law, that's the rules. So, I went to the registrar, met two nice women there, very nice. And uh, I got an email the registrar to ask them to waive the fee of $75 that we could go to court and find out how come the New Brunswick Police Commission cannot investigate that cop. Oh, 
Oh, okay, almost an accident. So, the Irvings, uh, you know what? The Irving Media, I'm gonna do another video. But the Irving Media, they did a story, they did an interview with me last Saturday. It was posted on their website on Saturday afternoon. Now, somebody emailed me and told me it is not on anymore. We checked, it's not, it's no longer on the website. So, I said, well, you know, maybe it'll be in the paper. Just to, it's not the question of, hey, moi, wants to be in the paper. It's the question to educate the public on what's going on, especially the poor people and the people with mental illness. So, uh, it's gone. It's disappeared off the website. Uh, it's not even in the paper. I think maybe there's a mole inside the Irving media. That's twice that happened. There was one that the cop that charged me, he was uh, hired by the Fredericton Police Force a week before my verdict. It was on the website, and next thing you know, not in, in the paper or nothing. So I think there's a mole inside the Irving media that really decides what's going on, what should the public know, especially when it comes to issues like this. So I'm sorry it's a long-winded one. Uh, uh, I'm not going around asking for $75, no, 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 no. But what I'm gonna do is I went to the courts, as we know, and I'm gonna put in uh, my concern to waive the $75, and we'll show how the system does not work. It doesn't work, and there's so many people in jail, and so many unjust, so much injustice going on. So what's gonna happen? You definitely stay tuned. Go to Google, write my name, Charles of Law, and you'll see my blog. Yeah.